Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review because I love some freaking Transformers. Today, we'll be taking a look at Unique Toys UTR07 Dumber. This is their uh, mud flap, and uh, Dumb will come along with uh, skids, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I love the uh, box art. looks pretty good. Unique Toys. Nothing up top. Stuff I can't read on the bottom, on the side, just has the Dumber UTR07. On the back, you got a product shot of the Mbop mode and in alt mode, and you can scan the codes because there are no instructions. So you got to scan the code to get the instructions. All right, so that's pretty cool. And then you got another picture, and that's pretty nice. All right, so let's take a quick look at Unique Toys Dumber or their mud flap from Revenge of the Fallen. All right, so like I said, no instructions. You have to scan that you know code and everything to get the instructions, but it does come with a card. Nice little, uh, you know. Card, nice thick stock, nice credit card stock. R07 Dumber, nice picture on the back. You do have some stats, so that's pretty neat. Oh, Petito, there you go, in his bot mode. And he comes with two pistols or guns, um, no paint or anything like that. Some scope work in there, uh, but it's just black plastic, and everything. And they are the same. You get two of those, and yeah, that is it. That's all that uh, unique toy, or that's all that uh, mud black comes with. Whee! All right, so there is Unique Toys Mud Flapper Dumber. Uh, it rolls, you know, it gets kind of stuck up in there, and I think gets hung up on the wheel wells right here, uh, back here, and other thing, and up here too as well. I tried to move it around as much as possible, you know, and everything, but yeah. So the um, only die cast I really feel right now so far is the rims. Uh, they are cold to the touch, so that's nice. And you do got rubber tires, so that's cool. I like that. And here he is. Uh, I love the tinted out windows. Looks really nice. Uh, you got the front. Uh, you got the nice metallic blue and yellow, and you got the silver uh, and all that good stuff and blue right there. So um, I've seen, you know, I've seen pictures and everything, and it may not be, I guess, movie accurate, but I've seen some toys, you know, the, like the deluxe scale and everything, and uh, it looks kind of toy, uh, you know, inspired. So it could be, you know, a toy like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, you got that, so nice of paint. Now, it does have some different oranges and browns. Uh, you got this, like here, back here. I said this might be, you know, I think on the in the movie it was supposed to be in black right here. Everything you got this right here, and you can tell that's a different color. It's a you know darker brown or orangish. You got this brown. This I think this is painted and this painted as well. It's nicely got a nice sheen to it. That's good. And like I said, you got different browns and oranges. This is darker than that side and everything. Darker than this, or I think darker than this and everything. So, yeah, you know they didn't match up the colors the greatest and everything. So. You know, there is that. So uh, you got some brown all the way around like this. This is painted right here all the way around like that. Looks good. On the back, you have nice tinted out windows. Red for the tail lights, silver, silver right there. And then you got some brown right here and then brown right there. So I don't know even what that brown even matches. That don't match right there. It doesn't match right there. So yeah, it is what it is. So there you go. Got silver for the, uh, you know, the um, handles for the door handles, which is good. You got the mirrors. They, get, they got painted uh, silver right there for the mirrors. That's cool. Underneath, you like to see that kind of thing. You can see some robot pieces. They're arms right there. So, yeah. All right. Now, he does have a nice, you know, interior as well. You can open up both doors. And you got a nice, you can see the steering wheel. You got two seats back there. That's pretty cool. You can see the finger sticking out right there. Uh, you guys got a dashboard. Uh, got some nice scope work in the uh, door as well. So, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, and then... That's about it. So yeah, that is mud flap right there in a nutshell. Close that back up. There you go. You know, it looks okay. Um, I'm not gonna keep it in car mode. You know, I don't. You know, I don't gonna display it like that. But I, I do like that it has nice interior. But I, you know, I was talking. I did a box opening, and um, as long as it doesn't interfere, like X Trans bots, you know, with the runabout and run amok, what they did with the, you know, the steering wheel and everything. Um, you know, I like that they, you know, did this, but I'm not going to display it. You know, I don't care if it has a nice, you know, nice and, you know, interior with the, uh, alt mode. Uh, but it's pretty cool if they can do it and it doesn't interfere with the bot mode. You know, I'm fine with that, but you know, with X-Trans bots, they do that. They try to make everything look good in there and then it suffers in the bot mode. And I don't like that. So, but this one, I don't think suffers in bot mode with that. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, right, there you go. That was my little spiel on that. So there is mud flap. All right, here is Alternator's Hot Rod. And here is Fans Toys Jazz. Unfortunately, I do not have any of my movie stuff, MP scale stuff out right now, so I can't do a comparisons, but there you go. There's some scale for you.
All right, back to transformation. Here is Mudflap looking all goofy like he's supposed to be. You know, kind of got that deformed look, you know, different kind of hands and everything. And he's got, he can scratch his own feet <laughs> if they get if they're itchy or anything like that. That's wild. Uh, but yeah, looks, you know, looks apart. I like it. So here's the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. You got the dopey look, you know, and everything. Uh, you got some nice sculpt work up here. Up here and things like that. That's pretty good. So yeah, nice head sculpt. You got the nice, uh, you know, uh, metallic blue eyes you got some gunmetal silver throughout that's nice uh, painted orange as well this burnt orange kind of thing going on as far as articulation nothing down the chin gets in the way you can look up quite a bit so that's good it's on a ball peg uh, you can go all the way around a little swivel you can get a little add to it as well i kind of wish this doesn't really tab in anywhere i wish this little you know plate right here would tab in because uh, if you do move up you know sometimes it will come on tab you got a little wiggle waggle too as well so yeah i wish they would have you know, figured out how to tab that in a little better. Uh, you still can look up and it won't come up, but you know, if you start messing around with it, it will come up. So yeah, that kind of sucks right there. Uh, the ears do move too as well. They're on a ball peg, so you can move the ears around and have them situated how you want to. So that's pretty cool. All right, you got the front of it. Looks like he's mean bugging you right here and right here. He's got two sets of eyes. Uh, these do fold in and everything. They're on a, like a little uh, ball peg thing kind of going on like that. So you can move those. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The same paint as always. You got the uh, shoulders. All right, so you can go out to about right there. Now, if you do lift this up right here, you can go up a little even further. Uh, they're on little ratchets as well. Now, the tolerances are really tight on his arms. It feels like they're going to come out of place or anything like that, but they don't. But uh, the tolerances are really tight, so just be wary of that. Uh, the, wing, the doors, uh, they're on a hinge. I uh, can go back and forth. I kind of wish they could hinge up and down. That would have been pretty cool, um, but they don't, so... Uh, you can go all the way around like that. You got that. Uh, you do have a swivel up here and a swivel down here. So you got two swivels, like you know, for uh, bicep swivels. Uh, you got about a 90 degree elbow bend. You got some nice sculpt work in there with the paint. That's good. Uh, bicep swivel, like I said, and then you got a swivel right here. You got some orange paint throughout. All right, with the hand, you got a swivel right there, and you got a hinge too as well. And this hand is going to be different than the other one. I'll show you the other one. So it's on a, his thumb is on a ball peg, and you got a bend right here and a bend at the knuckle. And then the fingers can uh, move, and you got one bend right here and a bend at the knuckle too as well. So pretty decent articulation for the hands. Like I said, it's got a big old hand. You got the strong hand, you got the weak hand too as well. All right, so this one, same thing. You got a swivel and everything. You got a elbow right there. Now this one, with this, you just got a ball peg for the thumb and a bend at the knuckle as well. And then all three of these are on one pin and you have two sets of uh, hinges right here. You got one at the right here and one, one at the base and one at the knuckle too as well. So that is that. All right. So you do got these little flaps right here. I guess they're called hip skirts if you want to call them like that. You got to lift them up to get the uh, waist swivel. If you don't, you will start running and stuff. So make sure you lift that up. No ab crunch, you know, kind of a, like a deformed look and everything. So it's got a Big old belly, big old pot, pot belly. Uh, you can nice ratcheted and Van Dam all day, every day. Uh, the guy's mean bugging you right there. Um, nice, you know, gunmetal silver throughout there, right here, all as well. Uh, you can kick up, kick back. You do have a thigh swivel. That's pretty good. Got a, just a 90 degree knee bend with the nice ratchets and everything. That's pretty cool. I like doing the transformation. I like how this thing flips over and everything. I thought, now you do have a cut down this. I thought that was broke right here, but they're on both of them. Just be careful. Um, I thought they were, you know, that might have broke or something like that, but they're on both of them. So uh, just be wary of that. You got a knee bend, like I said. Uh, you got toe tilt up a little bit, toe tilt down, not much. You do have a nice rocker right there, and you do have a swivel. It's on a mushroom peg or something like that. Do got some paint right there too as well. All right, here is the back. You know, cleans up pretty good. You do got the doors and everything. And like I said, he's kind of got that deformed look and everything. So there's the feet and everything. All right, so there you go. All right, real quick with the weapon, basic MP style. You got the little peg on there and you got the store, you know, little slot right there. You just tap them in right there and you can hold it. Uh, he already has one right there. And there's another option as well. If you want to store them back here, there is a slot right here on each door. And if you want to, you can kind of line them up and you can store them right here too as well. If I can get it to go in. There we go. You can store it, uh, you know, going down or you can store it going, you know, uh, going up too as well if you want. So, you know, you have two options if you want. That's pretty cool. So 
Yeah, there you go. So there you go. That is what you can do with his weapons. All right. So like I said earlier, unfortunately, I do not have any of my movie MPM stuff out, bots out to do some uh, comparisons. Uh, so hopefully you'll get a you know a little rough idea what he's going to be in scale. There is MP44 Optimus Prime. You got X Trans Bot. Uh, that's the bulkhead. And there's Metagate Shatter, and you got X Trans Bots run about and run amok. All right, and there's uh, MP Sideswipe back there, and you got the Generation Toy Sideswipe, the Bull, and I threw in a Voyager Optimus Prime, Core Class Wheelie, and then you got Tiss McGee Redgar. And there's some scale for you. And crappy Gonnets, crappy tool paper, AAA battery, Carmex, K Bears, Kicker, and Squeaks. More scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made this far, as always, I freaking appreciate that. Final thoughts on this is Unique Toys Dumber. This is Revenge of the Fall and Bud Flap, and I like him. I like him a lot. It fills in the gaps. That's awesome, giggity. And uh, once I get, you know, dumb you know, with their skids, I won't need another skids and Bud Flap. Unique Toys does a great job, especially with their Bayverse stuff, and this one is no difference. It's really, I like it. It's awesome. Uh, the alt mode looks good. Uh, you know, I said I mentioned the you know the different colors, you know the different oranges and browns. Maybe that just goes around this character. I don't know for sure, uh, but I, I like it. it. Doesn't bother me like you know most times they can't you know most of them can't do yellows and everything get you know, all messed up and everything. But like I said, maybe that just goes wrong with this character because he is goofy looking and they do you know pull that off as well. So I, I do like the mixing of the orange and brown and everything. I think that's pretty cool after you know messing around with it. At first I was like, oh man, that looks different. Uh, you know all the different colors and everything. But then I got you know more I mess around with it. I said. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, the, uh, you know, the alt mode looks pretty good. Uh, it's not, you know, movie accurate. I don't think there's some differences. Uh, it could be toy accurate. I don't know for sure. Um, you know, don't quote me on that. Um, but I do like uh, moving on to transformation. I do like the transformation. I love how the uh, wheels, uh, you know, the, the thing goes over that and the thing that it tabs in. That's pretty cool. You know, it's definitely accurate with that. Um, but yeah, transformation is not terrible. You know, most time unique toys is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, this one's not. I mean, the, the chest when it flips over. You got to tab in the you know waist area. That's kind of pain in the butt a little bit, but other than that, transformation pretty fun. I like the engineering; it's nice. Uh, the alt, you know, the bot mode looks good. Like I said, it plays the part. He looks goofy, and that's you know once he gets on the shelf, that's what he's going to do. I love the head sculpt; looks nice. I love you can move the ears. Uh, materials feel fine. You know, the tolerances are a little tight, especially on the arms. It feel like you're going to pull something out or anything like that, um, but they are really tight. But you do got some nice ratchets on the arms and the legs and everything, the knees. So that's pretty good. I like that. So the materials, I didn't feel like it was going to break anything. So that's pretty cool. Um, articulation, uh, I wish the just the doors would go, you know, still going back and forth. I've got, well, I wish they go up and down, give it more expression. Um, articulation is pretty, you know, it's decent. You know, um, you know, you got 90 degree for the elbow bend and for the knee bend. So nothing spectacular. You got a waist swivel, no ab crunch, but I didn't, you know, the way it transforms, I don't think there's they could have gave them an ab crunch. Maybe they could have, but. They didn't, but, you know, it's kind of goofy looking. So, you know, the articulation is fine, especially with the head. Oh, I don't like this right here, the little this little uh, panel right here for his neck and everything. That's a little wiggle waggle. I wish it tabbed in a little better. It's not terrible. You can still move the head around. It won't pop up, but once in a while it may. So just be wary of that. I, I do like the weapons. They're pretty cool. You know, I kind of wish he would have maybe, like during the movie, he had like a grappling gun come out of his uh, forearm. But, you know, pretty cool. Something popped up like that. That would have been nice. Um, you know, a little, you know, nod to that uh, scene with Devastator. Um, but yeah, I wish his mouth moved to uh, up and down a little bit. That would be pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, overall, I like the guns. Like I said, you know, you can store them on the back of the doors. So that's nice. Um, he's, uh, you know, got the face on the front, two faces, you know, mean bugging you and everything. So paint, all that good stuff. So overall, like I said, it fills in the gaps. Once I get skids, I'm happy. I'm good to go. Uh, so hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. Give me up some comments. Tell me if you thought of the review. I got the, it's, it also, it's not, you know, it's like 80 bucks on show Z. Definitely go check that out. Uh, put deluxe 32 up there at the top uh, and, you know, it really helps out the channel. Uh, so it's not going to break the bank. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm excited for skids. So I guess I'll see you in the next transform review. As always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking transformers and hell freaking mud flap from uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah. And bow. Kick you in the face. Kick in the face. Don't mess with the twins. Where's your twin at? Well, he, he's not here yet, but I'll get him. Once we get him, we'll do some twin stuff. Yeah. It's twins. Remember the commercial? Was it a, a Bud Light commercial? Anyways. All right. Good night, folks.